Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about three records I picked up at my local record store, Gimme Gimme Records in Los Angeles, Highland Park. Um, I highly recommend you visiting that store. Um, so the first one is Afternoon of an Elf by Errol Garner. Now I tend to buy albums that are cheap. Um, because I don't like spending a lot on vinyl. And I also try to find things that aren't readily available on CD. Um, none of the, the records that I'm gonna go over today are actually available on CD that I could find. Some of the songs are available in compilations. Now, of the three that I'm gonna go over, Errol Garner seems to have the most. Um, and I'm going to assume that's because of his uh, legendary status as a jazz performer. And he had one album, a live album, uh, that was really, really popular, a uh, big bestseller. So this is Afternoon of an Elf. And I'm going to say that as I put it on, uh, the, for my first listen, I didn't enjoy it too much. I think it's because it's so low piano. Um, but as I was listening to it the second and third time, uh, I was um, moving my feet to the music. So I think that this is a recording that will grow on me over time. If you'd like to see the track listing. Now, I don't know what this Wacker series is. Maybe I should look that up, but it was just on the back. So the, that's the track list. So the second album that um, I'm going to go over today is um, It's a Wonderful World by the Barbara Carroll Trio. Now, I'd never heard of this woman before, so after doing a, a Google search, I did see that she she had some uh, popularity, then she had a break in her career, and then she had a comeback later in her career. Um, if you ever have a chance to see this album, the back of the album, I don't know if maybe you can pause that, but the first paragraph is just so sexist. It starts off with a quote by George Bernard Shaw, the greatest assistance the average young lady musician can render to others is to stop. And, and it goes on to say, we all know that it's true what they say about lady football players. Oh no, he said, there are still two things women can't do, play football and play the piano. So the back of this is um, interesting in itself just for the review. Um, I found that I really enjoyed this album. Let me show you the track list. Oh, it's at the top. It's got a little bit of thing there. And she actually sings on, I believe, two tracks, and I enjoyed those as well. The reviewer called her um, not really singing, but kind of uh, speaking through the songs the way Rex Harrison does, but I still enjoyed them. I enjoyed this album. Um, if you look up Barbara Carroll, you can find a compilation albums. This one isn't available on CD. Uh, you can find her on streaming as well, but not that particular album. And the final one that I'm going to uh, go over today is Pat Suzuki's uh, Broadway 59. Unfortunately, there's this annoying sticker here. I hope I can get that off. But look at that cover. Isn't that infectious? She makes me happy just looking at this cover. So she was known mostly for um, playing in Flower Drum Song. And I believe her song, I Enjoy Being a Girl, uh, was uh, a big hit. And that is actually the first song on this. And look at that great back cover picture. I mean, 30 seconds into this, you know she's a singer. She belts that song out. She's awesome. If you've never heard her, you really have to. She's so good. So when I looked her up on um, Wikipedia, I found out some interesting things. She and her family had been in the internment camps, the Japanese internment camps. Um, she was a star, one of the stars, of the first Asian American TV sitcom show um so very interesting now she has uh a four 
sorry, it's a two CD set that has her four albums on it, and that is available on Amazon. So you can get it for $20. Um, so you can pick this up as part of that, but it's not available um, individually. So please let me know if you know about any of these people or any of these recordings. I'm, I basically pick up these albums not knowing much and um, I look at it as a learning experience and getting to learn something new about music. Also, I love the fact that these aren't available on CD and they're so cheap. I think I paid $5 for each one and to me that was expensive. I normally get these albums for two to three dollars, right? But um, I splurged on these three. So uh, please let me know in the comments if you have any, ex Ooh, there's, there's Angel in the background. Um, if you have any uh, exposure to any of these or if you have any comments, thank you so much for watching.